Hey, Eddie Bash. It's the 26th of July, 2018. I got to show you this really quick here. Um, this is really interesting. I really get a lot out of this here. Uh, NASA today they insist on continuing to showcase this Orion spacecraft in Washington DC and they decide that this is the best image for them to use to promote their Orion spacecraft with the Washington Monument in the background how appropriate okay this is really important I just feel it in my bones that they're about to do something I just I cannot help it the reason I say that is they keep telling us that this is NASA's Orion spacecraft again Satan's Nimrod that flew exploration flight test one on December 5th 2014 okay December 5th 2014 this isn't the first time that they flash that around it's like they it, they go over that detail in all of their articles see first tested in 2014 there's something really to this and they showed it on the 23rd of july right so i see immediately this morning i just i got this habit of checking nasa lately and this is their front page right now and of course that's front and center and I'm looking at it, and it dawns on me to check that date, okay, which was the 5th of December of 2014, when they flew that uh, Orion Nimrod capsule, apparently, up until tomorrow night, tomorrow, let's say. And I included the day, because that covers the 28th, because the lunar eclipse, which plays a part in this, okay, all of this stuff plays a part, right? It it, it 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 actually includes this um this weird uh mystery darkness that we saw a week ago okay this is on the 20th so this will be seven days tomorrow now the reason i'm bringing this up is just it's just what i gotta do that's all for it to be from that test flight date to tomorrow 1331 days is just crazy to me i mean seriously this is a 13 and a 31 as above so below orion represents nimrod nimrod was the rebel 13 the number of rebellion frontwards and backwards and it's 190 weeks in one day 9 11 and it happens to be three years, seven months, and 23 days. My very first random Bible verse this morning to get my study for myself was none other than Exodus 23. I'm not kidding. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Right? This is just crazy. So, this is what it's pointing to is this Orion Nimrod other gods before me the 23 again the chromosomes there's a split occurring here the sheep are going one way the goats are going the other the, the so on and so forth you're seeing the spiritual war manifest into the natural world and it's time to choose a side and you want to be able to know that you're choosing a side most people will just be duped into the deception i'm sorry and they will experience, oh man, I don't even like to think about it. But I am fully, fully believing that there is something going to be pulled off here in these next couple days. I just feel it in my bones. It's the only way I could put it. I mean, that's pretty wacky to have that, that launch date be exactly 1331 as they're displaying it on the White House lawn. <laughs> You got to wrap your head around this, okay? Now this is this will be four days before between when they displayed this here on the twenty third to the twenty seventh. Four days is interesting. There's only a couple of occurrences in the Bible that talk about four days, and one of them is when I, I please forgive me, but I'm just going off the top of my head. 
I believe his name was Jeroham or something of that effect. I'll let you draw your own conclusions because, you know, I'm still not all the way there. And I don't want to put out any misleading, you know, ideas about scripture. But it's there. And then every year the women went and lamented this virgin who remains nameless once a year for four days okay just think about that and, and look at that scripture i'm gonna link it so all this going on i'm telling you this is a spiritual war people and this is telling me pretty clearly that they intend to do something in regards to their rebel master nimrod or you can call him whoever you like i mean seriously that's where a lot of confusion comes in is with these names this represents the the penis of Osiris, the Washington Monument. And it can also represent da-da-da-da. But that's what it is. I mean, this is just nuts, you guys. But it's a spiritual war that is coming into the natural world. And if you don't understand it and you don't know that you need to call on the name of Jesus, if you want truth, if you want salvation, you want to be saved from this darkness that is coming on the earth. It just is. All right. There's one more thing that I've hesitated to talk about since it happened. And this was a year and two months ago. I have an image to give you an idea of what I'm going to tell you. On the morning of May 9th, 2017, I walked out of my house at approximately 445. This is just my story. You know, you take it for what it is. And I witnessed a star fall from heaven. It was not any star. I'm just telling you, it was not a flare. It was not a plane. I know what it was. And instantly in my spirit came 9-11. Okay, that's all I can tell you. At the time, I was like, what the heck? So that's what came into mind. Revelation 9-11. You know, I'm really, really concerned about these next uh, several days. Revelation 9-11. 9. And the very first verse, the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Now, I am not saying I am John the Revelator. I'm saying I saw a star fall from heaven. Okay? And it instantly came into my spirit, 9-11. So you draw your conclusions. I'm telling you that this is what it meant. Okay? And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Apollyon, Apollo, Abaddon. They had a king over them. 33 days prior to that, prior to May 9th, I saw an image on the Drudge Report. 33 days prior, on April the 6th. And that image, which happens to be one month, three days, 13, but that day on the Drudge was an image that also was put in my spirit to pay attention and this was the image I've shown this before but it was a nuke that I perceive to be in the California coastline and there is a king in this nuke and they had a king over them okay I've shown this many times before there are multiple things in this image but that is what I primarily wanted to show you 33 days prior to seeing the star fall from heaven. And they had a king over them. Revelation 9, 11. This is just what I have to give you. Please take it to prayer. Because this is real. This is uh, absolutely real. I'm not making this stuff up. So please seek Jesus. Seek the truth through him exactitudes of what I'm telling you I can't okay this is the best I can do all I can say is 
things are coming. Number one, Jesus is coming. But I'm telling you what, the devil is going to try and keep everyone he can from knowing that. And then when it actually occurs, he's going to try the best he can to keep people from believing it. And he's going to display a lie, a big lie, one so big that it might even fool the very elect. So you need to be prayed up like never before, living in Scripture. It's like, it's, it's that critical, okay? I'm just telling you because from May 9th, when I saw that star, to this eclipse coming up, Tomorrow is exactly 444 days, okay? And to me, that is Jesus. 222 is the key of David. 444 is Jesus. And just please discern everything that I tell you. Take it to prayer. Do whatever you need to do. But just stay prayed up. Seek in the face of the Lord all the time. 63 weeks, 3 days. This is just incredibly, incredibly heavy on my spirit. So I'm showing it to you. I saw a star fall from heaven. 444 days exactly on this lunar eclipse. Which is a big deal in my spirit. This is an absolute sign. And all these things go together. Everything we're seeing is a piece of the puzzle right down to this crazy three hours of darkness. So just be prayed up, people. Oh, check it out. It happened to be posted at 9.22. Uh-huh. 9.11.11. So please keep looking up. And don't believe it when they tell you that an asteroid hit or a space aliens are coming because it's a lie. It's a lie. Seek Jesus and him only. It's the only way to the truth. It's the only way through what's coming, people. So please heed my words, because it ain't from me. All glory to God. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 